Well, she's down for the count. I haven't dug into it yet to figure out the exact issue. But I put my foot on the brake and it goes right down to the floor. I checked the reservoir and the reservoir is almost completely empty. So I lean toward a brake leak somewhere. And it's been on my to-do list for a while to go through and replace the brakes on the blazer. But it uh, looks like it's going to happen now. And I'm not going to have much of a choice, which, which is all right. I've got new rotors and drums and uh, pads, wheel bearings for the front. I think I have rear hardware as well, I'm not sure, but I might have to pick up a spring kit and an e-brake kit, but hey, you know what, it's better to do it on my own terms, at least I don't need the vehicle immediately, so it'll be perfect to get all that done before winter and then uh, have it ready to go for the spring, but now we're going to tear into it and figure out what the problem is. First, I got to cut my freaking jungle of a lawn, so we'll get rolling on that and then we'll get... Uh, into more interesting things. Old rotor. You take off the two. Today. reservoir which is basically completely gone and empty I don't see anything up here under the hood that looks wet so the leak is somewhere else more than likely I lost a flex line or something it's probably spraying fluid somewhere underneath but I don't see it but I'm gonna move this guy out of the way let it sit and warm up for a while and then I'll shut it off and we'll get to it when I'm finished the lawn here and put it up in the air and figure out what's going down. I went as far as lifting the truck up. And for everybody who's skeptical, I'm on the rear shackle pivot bolt for the rear leaf spring. And I still have my jack on the rear pumpkin so that the truck is safe. I was looking underneath. I didn't spot any obvious leaks. So I popped my head up under the hood and I could see fluid dripping out of the back of the master cylinder behind me. I don't know if you guys can see that new bit of fluid dripping down there, but I just wiped it and it's starting to drip again. So that was my leak, a very slow one at that. It must have just slowly brought the level down until this point. So I suppose I pull that off and order myself a replacement master cylinder. Well, the failure, I suspect, is inside the master cylinder itself, since I have fluid presently leaking out the back of it. That shouldn't happen. So the new master cylinder is installed. It's completely dry. I haven't put any fluid in it at all. The lid fits on real nice. Way tighter than mine. So now I have to fill this with fluid. It's leaking some fluid out of the cap yet. There's still a bit in there. Fluid in the reservoir wasn't terribly dirty. It's not totally clear though, which it should have been. 
but I've never changed a brake fluid in this since I got it. I got it under 200,000. Uh, I think, no, I don't remember. I think it was like 160 or something. I'm at 213 now, and I still have to replace the brake components on it. They're, uh, they've been on there for a few years, and it's time to certainly freshen them up. I did paint them once. We'll get there and get through it. We're going to release a bleeder screw on the rear of the truck and I'm going to drain the fluid into just a jar. I usually take my knife and I just make an X on the top and that's enough to, to just jam a piece of tubing into and that piece of tubing will sit down at the bottom of the jar <clears throat> and the other end of the tubing will fit over the bleeder screw. able to bleed the brakes on the driver's side. Number one, I'm starting to run out of daylight, so it's getting harder to work out here. Um, and this isn't urgent. I don't have to have this done for any particular time, so I can wait. Uh, number two, the front uh, caliper on the passenger side, the bleeder screw doesn't want to come out. It's pretty stuck. I'm probably going to have to put vice grips on it to open it up and remove it. Um, I have brand new calipers and rotors and wheel bearings in the house, I have to just put them on the truck. So, not a huge loss, but I would like to see if after bleeding the brakes on half the truck, if I'm gonna have removed most of the air, see if it's actually gonna let me move it without, uh, without running out of brakes here. stop it. It's really sluggish. There's a lot of air in the system. So it could be done. The nice thing is now the truck holds itself. Let's see. Oh, yeah. well, it'll do what it needs to do if I had to drive it, but I don't have to drive it. So until I, uh, go through it the rest of the way and ensure that the brakes are 100%, I think it's going to sit here because uh, it's it's not worth taking the risk. I've, I've got other, I'll drive something else, it doesn't matter. Um, but good. So changing the master cylinder was my issue so far, putting fluid in it, you know, obviously. Um, if you saw, as I was bleeding the brakes through, uh, <clears throat> I kept on pumping until I was getting clean fluid. And if you noticed when I was doing the rear brake, the first one I did, uh, as the clean fluid started coming, so did the air bubbles. So that means that the air bubbles traveled from the master cylinder all the way through the system and out the rear, um, out the rear brake. When you're bleeding the brakes, that's what you kind of have to plan for. So I've used like, I, I had a one liter, a 500 mil, I oh no, sorry. Yeah, one liter container of uh, brake fluid, and I've already used more than a half of it just on two sides of the truck. I'm gonna have to pick up another bottle. I knew that. I only that's what I had on hand today. Uh, I'll probably get a larger jug, and I'll be good to go for a while then. But um, that'll happen when I'm ready to do the brakes on this thing. And looking at them, I'm probably gonna do flex lines. But I think I want to try to upgrade flex lines here and see if I can't go with like a, a stainless wrap or some kind of stiffer uh, flex line that's going to resist swelling like the rubber does and that's going to give me a firmer braking feel in here make it a little more sporty feeling not so kind of sluggish and slow when I hit the brakes because it, it I mean the brakes 
were never really where they should have been in this, in my opinion anyways. I get a much firmer pedal from the Pontiac, from the uh, Chevette car, than I do from this. Uh, this has always been real soft and all the way down before it really starts to stop. Like, if I wanted to lock it up, there's a lot of travel involved to get to the bottom. Maybe there's air in this system, and it has been the whole time. I don't know. Um, I think I, I'm positive that I've replaced the front calipers. I don't think I've ever done the rear cylinders, so maybe it's time to do cylinders, springs, uh, e-brake components change the lines on it, make it all fresh and clean, and all new fluid through the whole thing, and I bet it'll work as it was designed. I mean, this truck now is 1993, so it's been around the block a little ways, but uh, enough mumbling. I will update you guys when I finish the brakes. But up till now, if you're still watching, I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. It, it, is, it does mean a lot. I, I put a lot of time into the videos that I make, and I don't do it for any other reason than the fact that I actually enjoy it. Uh, if it's something that you see and it can benefit you, that's even better. You know, I just share a little tidbit of what I'm up to and what I'm doing. Uh, some people happen to find it interesting, and for those of you that do subscribe and like it, I certainly appreciate it. That That's awesome. Like I said, this is just for fun for me. Um, you know, there's no, there's no other goal than I just actually enjoy sharing this stuff, and I love the positive feedback that I get from you guys. Even the negative feedback... Um, it's nice to see that people are watching it and they have an opinion and they're willing to share that opinion. You know, you could tell me I'm wrong and I'm doing something the wrong way and you're absolutely correct. It's totally possible. Um, I'm just trying to make do with what I got, with what I know, with what I'm able to do. And, you know, I'm not a professional at this type of thing. I'm, you know, I'm far from it. I'm mechanically inclined, I would say, and I enjoy this type of work. And that's why I like to share it with you because a lot of us are just trying to make it work and figure things out for ourselves and save a bit of money along the way. That's kind of what I'm trying to do this whole time. So anyways, I'm done talking, <laughs> but thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.